Hi there, it's Jen, and I'm back with another Inspiration is Everywhere video for you today, where I show you how you can take inspiration from different things to create a scrapbook layout. Today, I'm going to take what I'm calling a story walk. And this was just a walk I took through my neighborhood um, where I went with a specific idea of gaining inspiration from my surroundings to create this scrapbooking layout. So this happens to be a photo I took on the layout or on my walk, but it does definitely doesn't have to be. Um, I just want to encourage you to, as you as you take a walk, to look at what's around you and and be inspired by it. So it is just um, ending winter and starting spring, so it's not like a pretty <laughs> walk. Everything's kind of just starting to get green, but um, I'm just going to walk you through what I was inspired by as I was walking so first of all I saw this fence and I love the idea I love wood grain but I love the idea of the holes in the fence and I'll come back to that um, I didn't happen to take video of this pole but this highly influenced my layout I liked the the rust on the blue pole I thought that was a cool look and I thought I could somehow recreate that with some paint um, I looked at this fence the pattern of the shadow of the fence was cool and I came back to the wood fence because I just really liked it and I liked the holes in the fence I thought it could be cool to cut some holes out of some wood grain pattern paper or something like that so we continued on and on this walk that we always take um, we always end up at the cemetery it's close to our house and we have a bunch of family members buried here and it's a good opportunity for me to take my daughter and just talk about what um, what kind of people that these family members were and just tell her a little bit about who they were so as I'm walking through and thinking about this and thinking about these family members I thought about how you know they died and some of them were in really hard circumstances and they went through some tough times but learning about the people that we love can help make us stronger and so I thought about that and then I also thought about the things I saw like that rusty pole um, it has some damage but that pole was beautiful to me which seems very strange but you'll see what I mean when I create the layout and so just as we were sitting here and I was talking to my daughter about these different family members the inspiration was just coming into my mind about um, what I could use from like the physical aspects of our walk what I could take for physical inspiration but also the inspiration from just taking the walk itself um, thinking about these family members and who they were and how they were strong um, and I am going to go back and take this inspiration from this walk and create a layout about these family members using my Allie Edwards tough story kit to do that and I knew I had just gotten that in the mail so as we were you know kind of talking and, and walking um, I was thinking about that that kit and and how I could create um, I also thought I don't it's hard to tell but the cemetery has a, a shape um, like a walking path that's kind of like a figure eight around it and so I thought about incorporating something like that into my layout for a design aspect so there's lots of ways that you can interpret um, and be inspired by your surroundings so I'm gonna go ahead and start this layout with you okay so I'm super excited to share with you the results of that that walk that we just talked about and this is the layout I am I'm starting with um, a 12 by 12 piece of paper I have a lot I want to say um, I printed off a photo I took from the walk this is my daughter's bike parked by this tree we always park by this tree because my um, well he would have been my brother-in-law is is buried in this cemetery over to the left of this tree um, and so we always park she always my daughter always parks her bike there and we walk over to Andrew's grave and so I I thought that was a good representation of the story that I wanted to tell and also um, just right here is where um, some of our other family is buried right there and so um, this is a story of being strong because of those that have gone before us and these are more recent people that have gone before us, but I think you could take this in a way that um, you're strong because of your ancestors or the people who maybe um, you have ancestors who, like, they were pioneers or they were, um, 
pilgrims or, you know, something. They came to America, different, different things. Um, they went through a lot to get you here, all that kind of stuff. Um, ways that you can be strong because of the people that, that went before you. And so I just used this Allie Edwards digital brush. It says strong. I'm using her, um, tough kit, her tough story kit for this layout. Mostly I'll probably add in, um, maybe some pattern paper if I feel like that this story warrants it. But I find myself with telling these um, more compelling and more thought out stories that I use less um, patterned paper and I just want to really focus on the story and on the words and so I, I end up just using less. But anyway, I printed this on an 8.5 by 11 piece of photo paper. I'm going to trim off the white on the top and the bottom. And so it will have a little border around the photo and I plan to just kind of nestle this in here at the top. And I typed the words we are and because of them above and below the word strong, which I mentioned is a digital brush from the Allie Edwards Tough Story Kit. And I thought that this just worked perfectly. I like the way that because of them kind of rests on this horizon line. Um, and so this is what my story is going to be about. I'm I'm trying to decide if I want to write a little bit on this road. I kind of like the idea of writing something on there. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward while I create this layout. And then I will come back at the end and talk to you about how I finish this off. But I'm really taking, I am going to take um, some of the inspiration like the, the visual inspiration that I received from this walk as well. Um, and I'm just, I'm going to call this a story walk um, because I, as I walked through um, my neighborhood or whatever, and a story began to form in my mind and little bits of everything that I saw just kind of made that story stronger. And so I will use um, like the physical things I saw as well, like that rusty pole. I, I plan to incorporate something like that and maybe some wood grain. So um, I will keep you um, informed as I create this layout, but I am going to put you on fast forward. Okay, so before I put you on fast forward, I just wanted to really quickly point this out. So I cut a bunch of like paint swash cut files. They're a free cut file in my shop if you're interested in that. Um, you can find them at craftygenscow.equid.com. But I cut a bunch of these all out of one sheet of paper and I kept this because I thought it looked cool. And as I was searching for some papers in my stash that I might want to use with this, I laid, I found this and it reminded me of that pole, um, that blue pole with the rust on it. And I thought this would be an interesting way to kind of um, incorporate that element onto my layout. So I can put my photo over the top portion. And then I have this bottom portion where I can kind of fill in these spaces. And I thought it would be a cool way to um, maybe journal as well because I want to talk about um, the people that are buried in this cemetery. I want to write a reason why each one of them makes us strong and I can write it in these little paint um, swooshes here and I so I thought that would be cool and th in the tough kit there are um, numbers and so I could take those numbers and kind of number them I might not use that small one because it might not be big enough so I can write a little bit of my story um, for each member of the family here, but then I can write more here of what I want to say about um, the story as a whole, if that makes sense. So I can do it like this kind of, and then um, I'll play around with, with this space as far as um, doing something that, that I can um, journal more inside. So just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of insight on what I think I might do. And I might try to find some wood grain paper or something that I can just layer behind um, maybe just even those top couple of swooshes to to get that wood grain element in there because I do like the idea of that still. So just wanted to give you a little heads up on what what my um, thought process is here and I'll go ahead and put you back on fast forward. Okay, so I said I was gonna fast forward you through um, through this, but I've decided I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just talk to you real time because um, I think this is going to be a fairly simple process 
and so I just wanted to show you what I'm thinking so I already mentioned I've got these four here and that I might want to incorporate some wood grain into the the layout so I found this wood grain which is older from um, Cartabella wildflower collection and I like this because it has the little bit of brown in it so that kind of to me can represent that rusty feel that I saw on that pole and I really like the way that it looks um, when I place it behind these elements and so I'm thinking I'm going to place this kind of rusty um, wood grain behind these two elements in the layout so this this um, paint splatter and and that one right here so these two I'm gonna have to cut that so that it that it works correctly um, because I don't want it to show here I'm gonna write on these spaces in this space I'm gonna do some journaling um, that's not related to these four people that I want to talk about and so I'm going to use this card which is from the physical kit um, the tough story kit and I'm going to slide it underneath um, here and I'm going to let the some of the lines show because they're going to show over here so I'll let them show on the bottom as well that says thankful thought I'm going to type on here um, just kind of my thoughts on this now because this is here this makes me maybe not want to put to put the wood grain here just because that feels really heavy to me so I might just put it in this one space and then I wonder if it would look weird if I put it in this bottom space too. I don't know, we'll see. This color's a little bit different than this and so that makes me hesitate a little bit. What I could do is go back to the digital kit and because these cards are in the digital kit I could print this off um, just on white. I think that might be what I do. Um, print this off on white so that I don't have to um, use this kind of grayish color which is really nice it just doesn't work for this plus I love the we can do hard things so that's a benefit of giving getting the physical kit and the digital kit is that I can kind of switch up the colors a little bit on the digital kit so that's what I'm going to do for that one so I'm going to plan on doing that and then I, I typed on here we are strong because of them but I'm thinking that I want to use this little chipboard piece that says made to last and I might just cover up the words we are because I really like the way it looks right there and I like the kind of monochrome uh, look that's going on with that so I'm gonna go ahead and print off this little card and I'm gonna make it white so I can stick it in here and then um, I'm also going to adhere the wood behind this piece. I haven't decided on this piece yet. This is a little bit imperfectly cut. I cut this on my silhouette machine, so I might just trim that down. Um, and then I'll get these stuck down and write the journaling for this as well. And then I'll come back and show you kind of where I'm at on that. Okay, so in an effort to um, continue this in another place, I wanted to make this an even border around all sides of the photos and so there's this little piece that pokes out up up here so I just put a little piece of that same pattern behind the layout up there and I haven't glued this down to the background I'm gonna wait to do that because I still haven't decided if I want to add this paper underneath this particular paint splatter but you can see I did print out that um, that thankful thought card on just some white cardstock and I just changed it to white from the the gray color and that's just really easy to do in Photoshop you just um, can use the paint bucket tool to fill in these spots in white it's that particular card is really simple um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adhere oh here's the other half of that card I'm gonna adhere the photo down I'm not going to adhere the whole um, piece to the background yet because I don't, like I mentioned, I don't know what I want to do with that piece yet. So I'm just going to put adhesive in the spaces where I know the photo will cover. Okay, so now I'm kind of ready to get to my story and then I'll finish embellishing afterwards. But I am going to go ahead and put down this made to last little chipboard piece right there and 
I am going to, I'm going to wait to put these down. So I'm just going to hold this on top of the paper. If I mess up on my journaling, I can always get a new piece of white paper. So I think I'm just going to use a little bit of washi tape to hold this down while I write my journaling. Okay, so really quickly before I write out this journaling, which I have um, written in with a pencil. Let me just zoom in here a little bit actually so you can see. I'm not going to unstick this so you're just going to see the top. But um, what I plan to do is to write the the name of the person with a .08 um, marker which has a thicker tip and then write the actual journaling with a thinner tip. This is a .38 Muji pen which is my favorite. Um, for the journaling there. Now you can see that I took off this thankful thought. I had glued that down without remembering that I was going to type on that. And so I went ahead and took it to my typewriter and typed it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, re-glue this down. Okay, so now I have this mostly done. I do need to still glue this paper down, but I've done my journaling. You can see I used my thicker .08 pen to do the names of the family members, and then I wrote with my smaller pen next to it a little bit about why they're strong or what about them makes us stronger. And then I typed on my typewriter my journaling here um, on this thankful thought, and I just talked about how... Well, I'll just read it to you really quick. Sundays, we like to take walks. The same path always leads us through the city cemetery where we have many loved ones. It's so important to me to tell Malia stories about these family members. Their lives and their legacy make us stronger and better human beings. Their strength through difficult times helps us to do hard things. We can do hard things. Although it is sometimes painful to think about those who have gone before, especially those that were soon or sudden, I am so grateful that we live close because it gives me the opportunity to help Malia know these people that are an important part of our story. So, um, you know, just tying everything together, I, I talked about the gratitude, which ties in with thankful thought, um, and I taught about talked about why we were strong because of them. And so now what I want to do is I'm, I've decided to leave this little space open. I think I'm going to stamp the date there and then maybe add um, some of these cute little hearts or something. I don't know. And I'm thinking about adding a few of these words from the, this is from the Tough Story Kit. Okay. So I think as a final kind of touch just to bring in a little bit more of that metal feel. I really liked that one pole with the metal um, and the rustiness on it. I'm just going to use a few staples. So um, I'm going to, let's see, put a few here next to the journaling. I like that. And then this won't quite reach, but if I pull up my photo a little bit, maybe I can, no, that doesn't quite reach either. I was thinking about stapling this little chipboard piece into place, but I think I just won't. <laughs> I'm just gonna put two staples right here at the top. So just a couple, just a little subtle detail, and I think I'm going to call that one good. So it's very simple, kind of plain, but it really focuses on the photo and on the words, which is what I wanted for this story. So I hope that that has inspired you. I hope that you will try taking um, a story walk of your own. Whether you take a photo on that walk to scrapbook or if it just sparks an idea for another story that you have to tell, I, I hope that you'll give that a try. It was really inspirational um, for me and I definitely will do it again on a different, I think I could take the same walk and find other stories, but um, taking some different walks and really paying attention to my surroundings and what things stand out to me and and how I can incorporate those things into a story. So um, that is my challenge for you to go ahead and try that. And um, I hope that you'll join me again next week for another episode of this uh, series, Inspiration is Everywhere. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, just head over to my blog at craftygenscow.com. Thanks. Bye-bye. <music>